Well, the change came and it came fast. Mr. Beast has changed course on one of his AI apps. Let's talk about it. So last week we did a video about how AI was just, you know, butchering YouTube and TikTok and all these other things with just AI slop videos. Now we went into it in detail and I'm just gonna recap it for you. Basically my position is AI videos are, are slop, just like they're calling them now, AI slop. And I think the resistance against them is growing day by day, even though AI is getting better and better. I think more people are starting to resent AI every single day. Now there's some dangers with AI and we're already starting to see the effects worldwide. A lot of people are losing their jobs because of AI. Now, the United States has seen this before, back in the days of automaking. I mean, I forget the exact numbers. I did a video about it years ago, but it was something like in the 1950s, a car line at Ford, one assembly line took like 50 people and they'd have like six different lines in this one building going every single day, every shift. So you have all these people. Well, 20 years later, it was down by 10. And then another 20 years later, it was down to just 10 people running this line, this assembly line. And it's because of automation. Now, it wasn't AI back then. And I think AI has the potential to do more disruption and put more people out. It's moving too fast. It's too good. And we're going to have some problems with it. And I think a lot of people, especially older people, are getting to the point where they, they don't want to deal with AI. They don't like it. They don't like the way it looks. They don't want to watch it. And some of them might be doing that because they know it's going to put people out of work. Now, myself, I don't even go through the self-checkout line at the grocery store because that's taking someone's job. If I use that, that means that's one less checker they need and it goes on and on. And plus, if I'm going to be doing the work, shouldn't they be paying me? I mean, Part of my grocery deal was you take my money, you tell me what it is, and you bag it for me. Now I'm bagging it, you know? Like Bill Burr said, I just walk out of the place. What are they gonna do, cut, cut my hours? I don't even work there. So Mr. Beast put up this app or this program on his website, uh, View Stats. And this program, AI program, would basically take someone else's thumbnail and you could adjust it. You just give it some text, tell him what you want it. He showed an example of an F1 car and he just put in there, replace the F1 car with a minivan. It did it flawlessly and it looked good. Then he took some other people's thumbnails and basically said, put my face on this thumbnail. So it took out the person's face that maybe made the thumbnail originally and placed his on there. Make professional looking viral thumbnails with zero Photoshop experience. From creating custom results from any channel to literally being able to put your face on a thumbnail, it literally feels like cheating. This is the home of the AI tool where you can type in any channel on all of YouTube and it'll use it as inspiration for the thumbnail it's generated. Okay, so that's stealing. And I think most of the internet and most of the creators said that's BS. You're giving people a tool to steal from us. What are you doing? And He'd heard enough and he changed directions. Now, at first he came out and he said he'd also include a thing where you could get a hold of, or, you know, a way to contact thumbnail designers and hire them. Well, now I think he might be scrubbing the whole AI thumbnail thing and just putting a section on there where you could hire thumbnail creators. So I think that's good. Now, in my experience, I've probably bought in about 20 or 30 uh, thumbnails in my diet. I've tried different people to see what works. I mean, Roberto Blake gave me some really good advice on my videos. He said, I'd be killing it, but my thumbnails are weak. Well, I think they are. Uh, I try and make them better, but I think using someone else got too far away from my brand and they just, people didn't respond to them. I've never, I know I've had two that I think a video did better because of the thumbnail. Almost every single one after that was worse. It, my video did worse until I changed the thumbnail to one of my own, something that people are used to seeing. Recently, I started adding my face to my thumbnails to see, you know, if that would help. And it has. Uh, and I could see a difference. My click through rate went from usually around 4.7 to I'm hovering around 5.1 right now. Now, it doesn't sound like a big jump, but it's a jump. Uh, and that's consistently. That's not just one or two videos. So hiring people to do your thumbnails you know, if you have no skills in graphic design, which I'm uh, 
intermediate at best when it comes to Photoshop. Uh, you got Canva and a couple other places that'll help you make your thumbnails. My suggestion to you, if you're going to make thumbnails, learn to do them yourself. Okay, that's one of the most important things you're going to have to do for a video. I mean, the video is important and the concept and the story, whatever you're doing is very important. But your thumbnail is basically the packaging. And we talked about this in a video a couple months ago that it's just like Coke and Pepsi. They put a label on their can, on their 12 packs, whatever that you recognize, okay? Now, if all of a sudden Coke switch, switch to yellow and black instead of red and white, people would be all, what is this? What kind of flavors? It would cause confusion and they would probably get less sales unless there was something behind it, like it was some kind of Halloween orange and black theme and people understood that. Now, I think it's the same situation. Your thumbnail is your product, okay? It's your product packaging. And if you've got a style, improve on your style, but don't just co go totally off the rails and into the weeds with a new style. I think it'll hurt your brand more than anything. Now, that's my advice. That's my suggestion. That's my feelings on the subject. You do what you think is best for your channel. If you start out having someone make your thumbnails and they make you a good design, keep them and maybe learn how to do them yourself because eventually they'll want to move on or they'll start charging you too much. And then maybe you just take their design and learn how to do it in your own way. I mean, don't just copy and paste theirs. It's kind of rude, but you know, you're paying for it. So it's your design in a way. You get what I'm saying? It's not just total theft. If you start making them after you've, let's say, used the person for six months or a year, and then they just quit making them or they start gouging you, which a lot of them do. I had one guy make some thumbnails for me. The first two or three were really good. Then he upped his price. I said, okay, well, the thumbnails are good. I went from, I think he was only charging 20 bucks. So I started paying him, I think 35, 40 bucks a thumbnail, which I thought was a little high for what he was doing. But I gave it a shot. He gave me one more good video and then the rest were crap. And I could just tell he was half assing it or he had someone else in the office doing them or wherever he is in Bangladesh or whatever. So I'm kind of done buying thumbnails. They've never really worked out for me. But you do you. That's the most important. All the things I tell you, unless it's something that's changed and you need to fix, I'm always going to tell you, do you more research. I'm giving you ideas and you do what you think is best for your channel and your brand. Most importantly. But so Mr. Beast, I think, is doing the right thing. And he put out a Twitter post and all this and great. Now, the other thing about AI, which I'm not totally against AI. I think as a tool, it could be helpful. As a machine that does everything for you after you program some words into it, I think that's horseshit. Point blank. I don't think it's... You know, I want I don't want to say it's not ethical, but that's kind of how I feel about it. Ethical is a strong word, but I hope you get what I'm saying. I think it's just not it's it's not kosher. It's not good. So I ran a poll on World According to Briggs where I said, how do you feel about I, let me get exactly what I asked. Boop, 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 boop. The question was, I can get to it. Here we go. Do you watch AI videos? Now, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, it's only half the people watch them and half don't. No, it's much worse than that. I had 7,000 right now, so far, 7,100 votes. Okay. And it is 82% no, I don't watch them. And 18%, I do watch them. So I think public sentiment is more towards no, and I think people are getting AI fatigue, like I said in that last video. Now, I will, in full transparency, I have a little bit older of an audience, and I think they're a little more skeptical and a little more against AI. So I think that number might be skewed, but it's definitely not going to be 50-50. If it drops down to 75%, 25%, I would be surprised. Um, I kind of want one of my other friends that's younger than me to put the same poll up on their channel to see what they say. Uh, but some of the some of the responses I got on that, it's it's pretty much the same. For me, the best answer is uh, I don't watch them unless I could avoid them. Uh, when I hear the AI voice that is so common among these channels, I exit. 
We all hate them. I shut them off as soon as I recognize the AI voice. AI robots still can't produce names or can't pronounce names, places. You know, uh, the Bigfoot ones are hilarious. Someone put that there. I've seen those. Those are hilarious. Bigfoot ones are pretty funny, but they're writing a script and they're using AI as a tool. They're not having AI to write a script. You could tell this is a comedian that is writing these things. AI channels I like right now are, he's listed to the big, everyone loves these Bigfoot ones. So people do love the Bigfoot ones because it's original. You're not copying someone else's stuff. Now, now that he's popular, the guy doing these Bigfoot ones, everyone's going to start doing them. You know, I mean, if you're smart now, you jump in and make a white Bigfoot and call it the Yeti. I'd watch him as soon, this is one of my favorites. I'd watch him as soon as I'd watch The View or Jerry Springer reruns. As soon as I hear the AI voice, I immediately click off in uncontrolled rage. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the backlash and the resentment, again, I think that's a strong word, but I'm at a loss for the words today. I think people just don't dig them. It might change over time as it becomes more of the, you know, the norm. But right now, I think it's really bad, and I think most people don't like it, and I still stand by what I said before, I think it's going to hurt YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram in the long run. Uh, it's just, it's it's almost like, it's just scammy. You know, it's scammy, and it reminds me of spam. You know, they're just pumping out this stuff, and it doesn't matter the substance of the video. It doesn't matter where they got the information. They're just pumping it out and seeing what clicks, because all they're focused on is putting up a certain amount of time length video, certain amount of length, and the thumbnail and the title. What's gonna grab your attention? So they get that click, you watch a minute or two and they click off. And eventually, eventually I think that's gonna be the difference too. I think as they see the view times are really down, the average view duration as they say, I think that's gonna be where they get, I wouldn't say demonetized, but they start getting pushed down further on the search of YouTube. now. Do I think YouTube needs to do something about it? Absolutely. Do I think they will? I don't think they will. Not, not anytime soon. There might be some adjustments, but I think as more people start to hate them, and I think as more people, uh, more advertisers start to say they don't want to be on these AI videos, I think that's what's going to change YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram's ways. TikTok, I don't know. TikTok kind of is... is spammy and stuff like that. So I don't think they care what goes on up there as long as they keep uploading. That's all they're concerned with. Um, and if you go to, like I said before, if you go to TikTok right now, watch 10 videos, I guarantee two are just going to be the same video that someone else redid or they took a clip off of another video. There's less and less original stuff on TikTok. It's all regurgitated, almost dead internet. No one's really, you know, not, I shouldn't say no one, but more and more people aren't creating original content on TikTok. They're just doing compilations and clips of other people's stuff. And I think that'll be their downfall too. I think the shine of TikTok is kind of fading. It's a little tarnished now. And I don't think it has much to do with the fact it might be banned as much as people are just a little burnt out. I mean, the word doom scrolling is kind of a big thing right now. But I don't know. So we'll see how all this pans out with Mr. Beast and how he basically, you know, reverse course. And if he does come up with a good app for uh, you to hire thumbnail creators, I'd give it a shot, especially if you don't know how to make thumbnails. Give it a shot. See if it works for you. If you know your way around Photoshop, make your own frickin' thumbnails. If you know your way around camera, make your own frickin' thumbnails thumbnails or camera canva if you know your way around canva make your own thumbnails i know there's some other programs out there that'll help you that aren't just straight up ai text in here what you want but i still think honestly ai thumbnails are less offensive than creating a whole video with ai i think that's kind of garbage but that's just why i stand i don't hate ai but I'm glad there's some backlash coming. So real creators still have a place to show their videos. All right, everyone. See you next video.